On this episode of the Carolina Sports Guy, we're going to dive in and look so far. Free agency started. We've had the expansion draft. We've lost some players. Picked a few up. Carolina Hurricanes 2021-2022 season. Coming loud and clear, folks. Before we get into today's content, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It doesn't cost anything. Pound that like button. Hit that bell notification to be notified of future content like today's video on the Hurricanes, Carolina Panthers, Charlotte Hornets, major college sports in North and South Carolina. And leave me some comments, folks. I really like the debate back and forth. Okay, folks. Really, I didn't see it coming. Carolina Hurricanes, <coughs> excuse me, entered this expansion draft, and I was really worried about losing Jake Bean and, and you know, a couple of guys and things going on and Lo and behold, you know, we exposed some players and the Seattle Kraken take Morgan Geeky. And I really like Morgan Geeky's game, folks. I, I saw a lot of upside. I think the coaching staff really saw more in, um, in uh, a couple other players. And um, did just Geeky's time started slipping as we moved on in the playoffs. Um, Lorenz is who I was trying to think of, got a little bit more playing time. And with guys like Seth Jarvis and Ryan Suzuki and, and a couple other guys coming along, coming up the, the pipe, um, it might be time to start seeing the youth movement. And uh, Geeky, as good as he was, I guess the Hurricanes felt okay to expose him. And um, kind of you just never know what, what people are going to you know take or what's going to happen. Now, in saying that, moving into the draft, the Hurricanes end up trading Alex Nedeljkovic. And I was really assured that, man, Nedeljkovic was going to be the goalie. I figured Reimer would be gone. The only way we'd keep Reimer is if we lost Morazic. Um, and I figured Morazic would be gone by four, uh, sure, more than anybody else. But there was a small chance we'd bring him back. Uh, but we ended up trading um, Nedeljkovic to Detroit for a third rounder and Jonathan Bernier. And then Bernier was an unrestricted uh, free agent. He turns around and signs to New Jersey. So we more or less just let Nedeljkovic go to Detroit for a third rounder. I know a lot of people were disappointed at first I was, but I got to look at back, folks. Let's go back and look. Nedeljkovic only started. He was waived back in January. And he only started as we got closer to the playoffs. And we wanted to see what we had. And he looked good in a lot of games. But that Tampa Bay series, let's go back. We lost four games of one. There's a couple of those games that Nedeljkovic led in a couple of soft goals. And I'm not saying we didn't necessarily win those games, but a couple of games where he let the soft goal in, game would have been tied or game were in the lead. And who knows, instead of losing four to one in this series, it might have been four to two. Or my God, it could have been four to three. And if it was four to three, who knows what that seventh game holds, folks. You just never know. Um, goaltending definitely should have been better and I really think this was one of the areas this, going into the season we knew it we thought we had us a starting goalie but we really I, I think the team took a long hard look And although they kind of like what they've seen compared to Morazic and um, Reimer I think they felt it was a weakness and we needed to get better now who do we sign in free agency we bring in Frederick Anderson he was a guy who was drafted by the Hurricanes but ended up like 2010, but 2012, he didn't sign with us. He signed with Anaheim in 2012, moved on to Toronto. We bring him in. I think we got us a good goalie. We're going to have to wait and see if it can stay healthy. Uh, you know, Morazic ends up going to Toronto, so it's almost like a switch. So I'm hoping we got the better end of the deal here. Uh, James Reimer ends up moving to San Jose. I didn't have a problem with that at all. And then we pick up Antti Ranta, the goalie from uh, – Arizona, who also played with Chicago and the New York Rangers. Uh, and I'm hoping I say his name like Auntie or Anta, but the, that guy is a backup. Hopefully we'll get something out of him. And, and let's hope that we have a little bit better play and goal. Now, the draft, we ended up accumulating 13 draft picks, folks. We traded out the first round. We ended up getting uh, three goalies. So the good thing is one or two of these goalies might not hit. But if we can have one of the three hit, and it doesn't have to be right away. We know how goalies are. They take a while to develop. If they end up getting anything out of the goalie position from this draft, it's a win-win. 
we draft five defensemen and a couple of these guys, man, I'll get into a video later about the draft picks. I just kind of wanted to touch on it today. But five defensemen and a couple of them are really great players that we got that I think we won't see in Raleigh the first year, but I think in two or three years from now as, as players move along, we definitely can see that. We picked up four right wingers, believe it or not, and one center. So we end up a total of 13 draft picks. I think we went into the draft with about nine or 10, and we just kept trading down and accumulating and, and kind of taking, I, mean, I think the problem was folks, we were sitting at 27 in the draft and who we had slotted, probably we felt wasn't gonna be the 27th guy gone. We probably figured, man, he's probably gonna be gone 32, 33. So we trade out of that first round, hoping that we can get our guy and acquire more picks. So a lot of times if you got a whole bunch of guys slotted and you're like, I'm not sure, or you're like, man, this is a guy I want, but if we could get him a little bit later, we can pick up another draft pick and we might get this second or third guy we want. And I, th I think that's kind of what we did with these 13 draft picks. A couple of them might be wasted picks, but we might have five or six to really make a dent on this roster in future years. And where if we would have stayed pat or where we were, maybe we'd only had three or four. And sometimes picking up a couple extra guys makes a big difference, especially on these rookie contracts. Now the real big news, news. Dougie Hamilton signs with New Jersey. I'm sorry, folks. I love Dougie Hamilton. I wanted to come back, but he signed like an eight-year deal at $9 million a year. Hell no. Nah. Not going to happen. You pay him that, imagine what Slavin and Pesh you're going to want. And if, you're gonna, if New Jersey's already paying Subban, and if they pay Dougie Hamilton, they may be good, but I guarantee you in a couple of years, New Jersey's still not going to have a cup, and I think they're really going to regret signing uh, Hamilton at that long-term deal at that much money. But we'll see. Uh, I hated losing Warren Fogle. I really did. And I was down and out trading the guy. I thought he was so close to breaking through. I had really loved his game. But we traded him to Edmonton for Ethan Bear. Now, the reason why Hamilton, we can kind of say, okay, we didn't lose as much with Hamilton is because Ethan Bear's a great defenseman. And a lot of Edmonton fans, I've gone on the record, said, who's Ethan Bear? Who's Ethan Bear? They really did not want to lose him. So I'm thinking as bad as we didn't want to lose Fogel at the forward position, Edmonton did not want to lose Ethan Bear at the defensive position. It kind of creates a, a log jam for them. It frees it up. They bring in another forward with that high press on the offense with Connor McDavid and, um, and Recital. Um, it helps them out with Fogel being on another line. And we pick up a defenseman who can, you know, be our, if, if he doesn't make the second line pairing or third line pairing, and we move right along. And, you know, you got Pesci and Slavin and, and Shea. And if Gardner can live back up to Billing, you're putting Bear out there. And and, um, and we're going to be okay. I think we'll be fine there. Um, Martin resigned. Jordan Martin. So that kind of gives us that fire we had, that gritty guy on the third and fourth lines. That was good. Um we traded away Jake Bean to Columbus, and I know we picked up a draft pick. I hated to see Jake Bean go, but if the organization exposed him in the expansion draft, and I thought they were hoping that Seattle would take him and we could retain Geeky, and when we lost Geeky, it was like a blow to a point. Um, I think they just were ready to move on from Jake Bean. And since Seattle didn't take him, you know, we traded him to Columbus, got a little something for him in his draft, so we'll see how that goes. Um, Hockenpah went to Dallas. That was one that I looked at and just really felt, man, you know, hated to lose him. But like I said, I'm not losing too much sleep. I mean, we gave up on Flurry. Flurry ended up leaving Anaheim. They exposed him, and he goes to Seattle. Uh, and there you go. Now, the big loss, I want to say, I thought was up to me, in my opinion, not Hamilton, not that kind of money. And not Fogel since we got Bear in return. Uh, the big loss I really thought that we had was Brock again because he was an uh, unrestricted free agent and Pittsburgh got him and they're in our division. And I, I think that one to me really stings the most. I didn't want to lose him. But with the money he commands, you know, we're bringing guys, like I said, Jarvis in and Suzuki. It's time to move on and, and give some other guys a try. And we're not done in free agency. We could still lose a guy or so or we can definitely pick up a couple. We'll see how it goes. And going in, look at the schedule, folks. October 14th at PNC. We start the, the year all playing against the New York Rangers, and we're going to see how that's going to go. 
So what do you folks think of today's video? Are you disappointed with the Hurricanes gave up, what we lost? Excited about the draft? Who do you hate losing the most? Who are you kind of excited to, to bring in the most? Leave me some comments. Pound that like button. Uh, whatever you do, folks, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And hit that bell notification to be notified of future content like this. And we'll see you next time on another episode. Carolina Sports Guy.